I'm doing a little experiment to see, um, just to test out some lighting I've got set up, and I'm also doing um, a test with for audio because I'm curious to know uh, the relative merits or qualities of sound from different types of miking techniques. So I thought I'd try out things that I've got available to me. So I've got set up um, a Rode NT5 cardioid microphone. I can touch the capsule with the palm of my hand, whatever that is, I don't know, maybe two feet or something, or maybe less from my mouth. I've got a lav mic, which permanently has a little wind muff attached to it because I use it for outdoor recording mainly. And I've got a large diaphragm studio condenser microphone about 12 inches, 10, 12 inches from my, from my mouth. I'm gonna read a passage from some text that I'll find in a minute. I don't expect any of them to sound best, maybe more natural or more present, maybe best for voiceover. Having had some time at my disposal when in London, I had visited the British Museum and made search among the books and maps in, li in the library regarding Transylvania. It struck me that some foreknowledge of the country could hardly fail to have some importance in dealing with the noblemen of that country. I find that the district he is named is, it, is in the extreme east of the country, just on the borders of three states in the midst of the Carpathian Mountains, one of the wildest and least known portions of Europe. I was not able to light on any map or work giving the exact locality of Castle Dracula, as there are no maps of this country as yet to compare with our own ordnance survey maps. But I found that Bistritz, the post town named by Count Dracula, is a fairly well known place. I shall enter here some of my own notes, as they may refresh my memory when I talk over my travels with Mina. In the population of Transylvania, there are four distinct nationalities Saxons in the south, and mixed with them Wallachs, who are the descendants of Dacians, Magyars in the west, and Czechelis in the east and north. I am going among the latter who claim to be descended from Attila and the Huns. This may be so, for when the Magyars conquered the country in the 11th century, they found the Huns settled in it. So I'm running sound into my task as preamp, then they're coming out of that, going straight into the camera. It's nice and quiet in here at least, so audio should be pretty clean. I think I've got the white balance okay, but we'll have a look. That's sort of it really. That's